Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a different distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we have uh, Jesus again continuing his journey to Jerusalem. And in this particular time, he is, it says in Scripture, passing through Samaria and Galilee. Uh, another way of translating that would be that he is traveling between Samaria and Galilee. In other words, he's right on the border. He's traveling along the border between the two, uh, the two areas. And here... He enters a village, and there, as he is entering, of course, the uh, the lepers are not allowed to be a part of the mainstay of the community. So as he was entering, just there near the entrance, there at a distance were some lepers that were, uh, of course, stricken from being a part of the community. And so they didn't even want to approach Jesus because they knew that that would be inappropriate, uh, that that it was it is not uh, a uh, approved for lepers to come near to anyone for fear that the others might get what they have. There was a great fear that leprosy was contagious. And so the lepers stood at a distance, but they called out to, to him in a voice crying out, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And uh, it is from this cry for help that Jesus sees them and speaks to them and he says go show yourselves to the priests and as they were going they were cleansed so it, we would assume that uh, the lepers would continue knowing that they've been cleansed continue to go see the priest and to uh, have it confirmed that uh, they truly were cleansed but one of them, in realizing that he'd been healed, returned and came back to Jesus to give thanks to him. And uh, so it was amazing to realize that out of the ten, only one came back. And as it says here, that he uh, returned glorifying God in a loud voice and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. You know, one of the things that we see here is that uh, all ten were healed, all ten had received this grace, but only one of them truly had a thankful heart for what they had experienced, what he had experienced in, in being healed. And he was a Samaritan. He really was not under the authority of the priest to begin with. And uh, so for him, it was really so meaningful to come back and to give glory to the one who healed him. And in doing so, Jesus makes an interesting statement. He says to him, uh, you know, after asking the question, has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he says to the former leper, stand up and go, your faith has saved you. Jesus recognizes the fact that this Samaritan sees in Jesus something more than just a remedy for his leprosy, but a hope for his life. 
And so it was at this point in coming back, glorifying God, falling at his feet in thankful praise that the leper also received the gift of faith to believe in Jesus as one who was sent by God. And in doing so, not only was his exterior, his physical being healed and saved, but his interior being as well. He became truly uh, one who was uh, following Jesus now as a disciple. And we don't know what happened to him, whether he joined the apostolic company and continued to travel with Jesus. It very well could be. It it happened to others like that. But all we know that out of the ten, it's assumed that the other nine were Jews who just went to the priest and then went out about their lives and uh, really didn't have that kind of a thankful heart. They were, I'm sure, very happy that they were no longer uh, lepers, but that thankfulness did not extend to really coming back and giving Jesus the thanks and the glory as the, as the Messiah, the Son of God, which the Samaritan did. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. One of the things that's interesting, if you look at the parable of the uh, well of the the parable of the good samaritan when you look at jesus meeting with a samaritan woman and hear about the uh, samaritan leper we recognize the fact that jesus is really being very very specific and using this group that is ostracized and uh, left out by the jews to really bring about the point that anyone with a heart that is filled with thankfulness, praise, glory, and repentance is not only approved by God, but welcomed by God, an invitation to come into a relationship. And so, again, we see that he is using this leper as a way for us to understand that it is truly the heart that makes all the difference. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.